Okay, so this is the most basic setup. I simply have my ACE combat system in between my speed control and my receiver. My speed control is wired into the output port in the T throttle for the ACE combat, and then a jumper goes from the throttle channel on my receiver to the T input channel. The guns are fired, I'm using channel five, with a jumper going to the G, and then the gun output is this over here on the output side. However, there are a lot more features to this that you can hook up. The simplest feature is over here that says LED. LED is basically a hit indicator, and these are simple five volt LEDs. You can see I have the positive and the negative hooked up of a, just a basic servo lead, and I can just plug that in here to either of those two ports. They can take up to six LEDs per side. Now what happens, these lights will stay on at all times until your aircraft is shot. When you are being shot, the aircraft lights go dim, indicating that your opponent has made a hit or so they can see that they've made a hit on you. Uh, these LEDs here are in parallel with this, so these two will go dim when hit. This is just an optional accessory to put elsewhere on your aircraft, and you can plug it into either of these two channels or both. The other thing down here is B. B is for buzzer. When you're hit, that goes hot, so it gives you an audible alarm. Now granted, your motor is going to be pulsing, which gives you an audible alarm as well. This is just additional alarm, and again, you can use LEDs, but the reverse will happen. In this case, the LEDs will be off until you're shot. When you're shot, they will go on, indicating a hit, while these two LEDs here will go off. The last is RGB. RGB is a base 5 score counter, so if you're familiar with RGB LEDs, you can plug them in, and each time you are shot down, it will count up one. Okay, the Ace Combat has another feature that's pretty interesting, and that is the battle mode. So let's move the jumper over to battle mode, to engage battle mode, and now both of these potentiometers here are active. This one here is time, and this is rate. So time is the amount of time it takes to shoot you down. If you back it all the way off, it only takes three seconds. If you turn it all the way up, it takes seven and a half to eight seconds to shoot you down. So think of this as a handicap that you can incorporate for less skilled or more skilled players in the game. This other potentiometer is called rate, and that is a little bit different. Rate adjusts servos. So when you're hit in battle mode, your servos will begin to shake, indicating that you've been shot, and then after a certain amount of time, I will take one servo at random and knock it out of trim, causing the plane to either roll, climb, dive, or whatever, simulating a shot up aircraft, so you know you're flying a damaged airplane. However, not every airplane is the same, hence this potentiometer. But the receiver doesn't know what this thing is doing, so to hook this up, we're going to simply disconnect our servos over here, and you see AETR. So let's go, this one would be my, let's just call this my elevator servo, and this one to be my aileron servo. We now need an input from the ACE combat system, so here we go, here is my aileron channel, and we're going to go to my receiver's aileron channel, and then this will go from here. to the elevator channel. And that is a full combat setup. I recommend doing this after the basic setup, but it's a heck of a lot of fun. And don't forget, throw in a couple extra LEDs for your hit indication. Okay, so this is what Ace Combat looks like on a basic flying wing. I have my control board with a little cutout where I could stuff all of my extra wires. This is my hit receiver, and despite being partially crowded by wires, they have no problem seeing combat damage. And then, of course, I've got my gun right here, and on the side of my aircraft right here, I have the hit indicators. However, this isn't necessarily the greatest aircraft for combat. Most of you will find that kind of airplane more fun. Biplanes and high wing trainers are not bad aircraft for combat for a couple of reasons. Number one, they've got the advantage of a rudder, and rudder control is excellent 
in laser combat because it allows the aircraft to spin around very quickly where a flying wing can't do that. Another advantage to this is it has a vertical surface. When, an, when a flying wing is flying away, especially in the daytime, that silhouette gets very, very, very small like that as you can see. However, with this aircraft, there isn't a silhouette to hide, so it's much easier to find your target when flying combat. The other great thing about this is it's a lower speed aircraft. You will have mid-air collisions, so lower speed aircraft is more preferable. Not only do you get closer and you make more hits, but they also don't get damaged when you inevitably collide, and I promise you, you will collide. But again, the basic setup. I've got my gun in the front. I've got a night camera on this. And the great thing about having the gun with a night camera is I can actually see my gun firing. It flashes like a machine gun. It's pretty cool. I highly recommend trying to get your gun in front of your camera so you can see yourself shooting. Again, I've got my uh, hit receiver, my main control board, and what I have not wired in yet are the LED light strips, which I'll plug in here and probably put them over the top of the wing. And there you have it, a laser combat aircraft. This is actually my preferred aircraft for laser combat. It's cheap, it's light, and it's a heck of a lot of fun. So get out there and get them flying.